Are you wondering what should I be pinning on Pinterest? Want to know what content to post to Pinterest? If you're unsure about what's popular on Pinterest or struggling to think of ideas to share to your Pinterest profile every day, I know it can be hard. This is the video for you. I've got 14 types of content that you can share to your Pinterest profile that is gonna help you grow your clicks and your traffic. So hey there, it's Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach here. And if you need tips to help you slay your goals on Pinterest, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I've got weekly content coming your way. First things first, when we're talking about posting on Pinterest, you want to make sure that whether you're sharing an image or a video or that that content is longer and vertical, whether that's an image or a video. So Pinterest encourages everyone to create those 1500 by 1000 pixel images or videos. And you can easily do this in Canva if you need to resize your image or if you're looking to design pins. If you haven't signed up for Canva, click the link down below and you can get started for free. So let's dive into the 14 types of content that you can post on Pinterest. So number one, it's an obvious one, it's your content. So whether you're creating blog posts, downloads, freebies, videos, podcasts, episodes, recipes, whatever type of content you're creating, you can share that on Pinterest. So if you've never posted on Pinterest before, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video. I break down the steps for you. I found you profiles on Pinterest that are doing exceptionally well at sharing each of these styles of content, and I'll be sure to link to them down below if you want to take a closer look. So Kim Foster, MD plus coach, is doing a really amazing job at sharing pins that link to her content. And I chose her as an example because she also has a podcast. You can see she's linking to her podcast episode that also has a YouTube video embedded. And remember, if you have this content, you can share links to the video, to the podcast episode, and to the blog post that also shows off your content. And the second type of content that you can post on Pinterest is multiple pins to your content. Okay, so no matter what type of content you're creating, whether those are products or blog posts or podcast episodes, you need to design multiple pins per post. So when we're talking about designing our images, you want to make sure you just have multiple templates so that you can share the same piece of content more than once. This is a great trick especially if you have not been creating content, maybe you got busy, maybe you haven't had the time to create regular content for your blog or YouTube channel, for example. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're designing multiple pins per post. So someone who does a really great job at sharing multiple pins per post is She Means Blogging. So for example, we have these posts right here that are about affiliate marketing, and she's created multiple pins that link to the same content. So this is something you can do, create multiple pins that link to your amazing content. Don't just share it once. So we've got this 40 best affiliate programs, but we can also see that this pin links to it and this pin also links to it. So don't just share your content once, share it multiple times with different pins. And speaking of not having time to constantly create content, the third type of content you can share is repurpose content from another platform. Because guess what? You can repurpose your Instagram reels, your TikTok videos, maybe your Google web stories, or even your YouTube shorts for Pinterest, especially if you create something like idea pins or video pins, which we're going to talk about in a second. These pins are perfectly sized, so you can simply just repurpose it. So whether you're creating one type of short form video and you're posting it across every single platform, don't forget about Pinterest in that workflow. So I would say the queen of repurposing content on Pinterest is Daniela over at I Like to Dabble. She creates these videos that she shares on other platforms and then she's uploading them to Pinterest. So you can repurpose your videos. Don't just create them once. You can share them on every platform just like Daniela does. 
So the fourth type of content you can post on Pinterest are idea pins. Have you started creating them as yet? So you wanna make sure when you're creating your idea pins, they're in that nine by 16 ratio. It's the same ratio as once again, your web stories, your TikTok videos. Something you wanna keep in mind is that you wanna show, not tell. So don't rely on text heavy slides, but you wanna incorporate photos and videos that are going to bring this one single idea across. So keep it simple. So of course, if we're talking about idea pins, we're talking about Kayla from Writing From Nowhere who creates beautiful and exceptional idea pins. So for example, here's just one about a travel hack. So you can click through the slides of an idea pin. There you have it. Love it. So the fifth type of content you can post on Pinterest are video pins. So remember, we're always talking about repurposing video. You can do that in the video pin format if you have that for other platforms. But video pins are great for showing before and after, behind the scenes video, for telling a story. So if you've got short video clips, especially if you are a travel blogger, lifestyle, food and recipe, video pins are great for that. And it's another way for you to show off your content instead of just posting a standard image pin. Video pins also are more engaging. So for video pins, someone who does this really well is EF Go Ahead Tours. They've got lots of videos that show off their amazing tours. So here's a great example. Wow, look at that view. This is something that is perfect for video pins. So if you've got stunning views, you've got to share them with video pins like EF Go Ahead Tours does. I ah, love it. So if you need help designing video pins, be sure to check out this video where I break down all the steps to creating video pins with Canva. So the sixth type of content you can share on Pinterest is what's trending or what's seasonal. This is the type of content that is the most popular on Pinterest because people are on Pinterest looking for trends for whether it's summer, spring, winter, or fall, or some holiday or some celebration that's coming up. So when we're talking about what's trending and seasonal, of course, you're gonna to wanna to click on analytics then go to trends. This is where you're able to see what exactly is trending when, choose your audience, and you're gonna be able to figure out what's spiking so that you can hop on these trends and get even more clicks to your content. So be sure to use this tool to find what's trending for you. Woo, already, there's so many types of pins that you can create for Pinterest. So be sure to check out my course, Next Level Pin Designs. If you need help designing multiple styles of pins, I share with you how to design 10 distinct styles of pins with Pinterest. So you can level up your graphic design skills in Canva and start creating those stunning pins that get lots of clicks. The link is right down below. And of course, I've applied a special coupon code just for you. So the seventh type of content that you can share on Pinterest are sales pages and products. So do you sell anything? What do you sell and are you sharing it on Pinterest? So whether that's a sales page to your course or coaching program, maybe it's to your digital products, maybe it's for your craft business, whatever it is that you sell, you should make pins, whether they're images or videos, that link and show off your products. So make sure you're linking directly to those product pages on Pinterest. So when it comes to sales pages and products, Etsy has got to be one of the best profiles on Pinterest for sharing products, whether we're talking about idea pins, video pins, standard pins, product pins, they really do create some exceptional content that shows off products in so many ways. They're using every single style of formatting. So if you want to create beautiful product pins, Etsy is a great profile to check out to get inspiration, right? They've got videos, they've got standard pins like this one. So great. Do you need help designing product pins? Be sure to check out this video where I share with you how to design multiple pins with just a few product images. Okay, so something else that you can post are photos. So no matter what type of content creator you are, whether you're showing off your travel images, your recipe images, maybe they're behind the scene images of your business, how it's made, what you do in a day. There are so many types of photos that you can share on Pinterest. You're definitely gonna wanna add your domain or your username just to have those images branded to protect them and also to make sure you are building that brand recognition, even if it's just with photos. 
So Through Kelsey's Lens is a really amazing travel blog account that shows off beautiful images. And if you want to use photos, this is just a really inspirational example for you. Just don't forget to also add your branding. So number nine is affiliate content. So do you belong to any high commission affiliate programs? Maybe you belong to the Amazon affiliate program. I do always encourage you to create that content on your site or your channel and then include the affiliate links there. So as opposed to linking to directly on Pinterest, but this type of affiliate content is a great way for you to earn income and find content to post on Pinterest. Someone who is exceptional at sharing affiliate content and also repurposing content is Hello Happy Mom. So she's got amazing videos on Amazon favorites. So this is a really amazing way for you to show off affiliate content. So here's just an example of one of her videos. So it's literally just unpacking and using a product from Amazon. So this is a great way for you to show off your affiliate products that you love and use. Need help with affiliate content on Pinterest? Be sure to check out my beginner's guide to affiliate marketing for Pinterest right here. Click that link. So hardly anyone does this. So if you do, you're going to stand out you can share your category or tag pages on Pinterest. So when you're creating content, you're able to categorize that you can add to particular tags. So if you've got a lot of content under one category, you can actually share that on Pinterest, share those category links. And number 11 is infographics. You can create these images that explain or show off particular concepts. Maybe if you have a lot of data, charts, lists, infographics are a great way to do that. They're longer, so make sure you are sticking to that longer format for Pinterest. And it's a great way for you to get a lot more saves on your content and to show, not just tell, what your content is about. And number 12 is sharing a work with me or a sign up page. So do you offer free discovery calls? Do you offer any consultations? Can someone book a call with you? Do you have a work with me page? So you can actually create pins for these pages. This is actually one of the first pins I ever created and it links to my affiliate program. I'm encouraging people to sign up and get paid. You can see it even recently got a click, even though this pin is literally like five years old. So you can show off these types of sign up pages with your pins as well. So number 13 is a particular favorite of mine. You can create quotes or graphic text images. So you can show off famous quotes or even you can quote yourself, take quotes from your content and create those as images and share them, of course, linking to that content. And when it comes to quote pins, our mindful life is really amazing at designing beautiful quote pins. So you can also design some quotes or graphic type posts for your content. And last but not least is probably one of the most popular ones is other people's pins. But here's the thing, you wanna make sure if you're sharing someone else's content to your Pinterest profile, that it is of the highest quality. So whether you're in a Tailwind community or you're just sharing pins that your audience would be interested in, make sure that the majority of the pins you're sharing on Pinterest are your own. So make sure other people's pins are a fraction of the pins that you're posting. And if we're talking about sharing other people's content, a great place to check is, of course, your home feed. But you want to make sure that before you pin it, that, of course, you click on that pin, make sure it actually links to the page that is shown off. So this pin goes where it says it would. So just be sure to click the link and check before you save it to your own board. And there you have it. That's 14 types of content you can post on Pinterest. And if you need help designing beautiful pins for Pinterest, check out my course, Next Level Pin Designs, where I break down 10 distinct styles of pins you can design. I show you click by click. Of course, I've already applied a special coupon code to the link for you. So just click down below to enroll. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got free weekly content coming your way. And be sure to stick around. You're gonna find this video helpful. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next one.